Taurus, this is your reading for 2023 year ahead. So we're going by quarter, two cards per quarter. Let's see what you have going on. We start out 2023 with the four of pentacles and the moon card. Whew, it gets better, okay? There's gonna be secrets that come out around this quarter, so January through March here, and there's gonna be a lack of trust. You can see like he's trying to protect his money, protect his gold, and you know, I feel like the wolf is crying at this moon, howling at the moon, but I feel like it's crying. So I do feel as though there might be something coming out in the in the beginning of the year that is something that you're not expecting, and it's gonna either cause you to have a lack of trust or cause you to quickly try to get everything together so that nobody takes anything else from you. Now, the good news is, is that the rest of the year is amazing. Okay, so you might have to get through this situation in order to move forward. And this might be something you already are aware of and know of. And it's like you just don't know what to do or you're waiting for that one answer uh, so that you have a definite answer. It's it's never going to come like that. And if it does, it's going to be the secrets and lies that come out. Okay, and it's going to be like you can't just you can't do it anymore and you choose not to do it. So now the second quarter, which is April through June, you've got the sun card and you've got the eight of wands. Now, this is my healing card. Hard. So there, I feel like there's going to be this heaviness that is on you now is going to be lifted off. And I feel as though, you know, like the sun, you're going to start shining again. You're going to be back to yourself. You're going to start getting yourself back to you because I just feel like you've spent so much time on whatever the heck this was. So you are moving forward in the second quarter. So um, April through June, then you're even moving forward more. So you've got this ace of wands and you've got the empress card. So this is about you taking care of you. And I feel as though you're going to be single for a while or independent in whatever way that is. It could be business could be relationships, whatever it is for you, but you're going to stay making your own decisions, being who you are, not really worried about what other people think or what they want anymore, because that's what you did over here and it didn't work out for you. And I think that you are going to kind of stay in that taking care of you type of energy for a while. Then at the end of 2023, so this is from October to December, this is about you moving forward, moving forward, moving on. You can see somebody might be pushing you that way. So somebody might enter your life as well to kind of help you move forward in that aspect. But with this card, with the star, this is about your intuition. You can see this light on top of her head. And this is about you connecting more to your intuition, seeing things for what they are, maybe even diving into the spirit world, maybe even getting my book, It's Not You, It's Your Energy, and learning about your energy. But know this, that 2023 is your moving on year, 